Welcome to week 15. 15. 15, 16, 17. That's it. No mas. Adios. Three weeks left of this class. It's hard to imagine it went by that fast. All the stuff that's been going on uh, with the virus and the school campus closures and so on, and we've managed to survive it. Uh, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on stuff. You, you know the drill by now. You know you know about your assignments. I, I always would say focus on the final exam that's coming up in three weeks. Uh, if you didn't do well in the midterm, uh, you know you you know what you need to work on uh, specifically. Uh, like I've said many times, supplemental lectures are important. People don't understand them. They please read the instructions modules week one. Uh, scroll down to resources, or if you were, if that's for an online class uh, that started that way, if you were in a in a face-to-face -face class that went online, I believe I put them in the uh, announcements, and it'll say instructions for assignments. So go there, read the written instructions, watch the video tutorial. These aren't aren't difficult, but people don't read the instructions. And they don't they don't do well. Okay, so uh, please uh, understand that mid, the final exam is coming quickly. Uh, forty question multiple choice. You have forty minutes. Uh, three essay essays written from three supplemental lectures of your choice from the shortened list of six that will be provided to you. Uh, you have unlimited time for that. But understand, unlimited time doesn't mean write for four hours for each one. A, a a proper and acceptable uh, essay. It's a review, and it shouldn't it shouldn't be page long. Uh, many people can accomplish it and get 25 or, or get full points for a for the uh, essay in half to half page to a page. It just kind of depends on how you write. But the point is, I'm not asking you to, to you know go into a long and and you know lengthy explanation. I gave I gave a lecture review it to someone that wasn't there. What did I say? Don't tell that person something that I didn't say. Don't go to Google and find more information. Keep it just inside the lecture. Write an intro as given to you in the lecture, the main points, but give me details. Some people just write the outline as their essay. And obviously the outline is to give you uh, something to, to go by. Fill it in with the blanks, fill in, fill in the details from the lecture I gave you. And always relevance at the end. And, and again, like I've said before, if you want to write relevance, underline it, bold print, make it make it very clear to me that this is the relevance. And I would always suggest you put that last. Some of you put that first, some of you scatter it throughout your essay and I got to find it that make sure it's all there. That's not always easy to do. And if that's the case, you won't get full points. So make it very clear to me, here's the relevance, okay? And you can write it word for word if you'd like. If you are not going to do word for word, uh, please make sure that you cover all your bases and what I said in the relevance. Don't skip a part, okay? Okay, so that's uh, that's where we're heading. Um, as far as your assignments, they're all kind of coming to a, a close here. The film reflections and, and discussion boards, those are, you know, we're, we're wrapping those up pretty quickly here. I wanted to talk to you about about the future uh, summer and fall 2020 semesters. Now I work for three campuses, so this information, you know, I'm taking from bits and pieces from each one. So none of what I'm saying is in stone. Well, I'm sorry, but summer 2020 is for certain going to be taught online. That is in stone. Fall, there has not been a decision made, but I get bits and pieces from different campuses. So I kind of come up, come up with my own thought about what's what may happen. What I'm being told is they're on they're, they haven't made a decision about fall, whether it's going to be online or back in the classroom, back on campus. Uh, but I've also been told that they're leaning towards converting it to, to an online semester also. However, classes that require a classroom and interaction, for example, biology, chemistry, any any science class with the lab, if you're a science major, you're not going to get through a degree without doing lab. So th those you can't do online. So those classes that, that require a classroom may meet may meet in the fall. Uh, and classes like history, 
or classes that you know are typically lecture based that don't require a classroom they may meet, meet online again so that's the kind of feeling I get that's where it's going to go I have a feeling but again don't quote me because I'm I'm no genius and I don't have the answers I'm just I'm just giving you information that is mostly fragments from three campuses that that's where I think it's going to go so I'm looking at potentially not being back in the classroom personally until February of 2021 which is like can't even imagine that. Okay, so um, let's see. I, I think that's it. There's nothing else to really uh, discuss with you. Uh, focus on the, on the final. Let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you, you know, ha are having difficulty. Um, I, I mentioned the supplemental lectures. You know, please, please focus on that. But please don't ask me to to tell you what lecture. Supplemental lecture three, what chapter? I'm, they're random for a reason. If I just gave everybody you know, the lectures and where they were, no one would listen to the lectures. So don't ask me. I can't find supplemental numbers, lecture number five. Where is it? It's there somewhere. You're going to have to just find it. If you, if you do things the way you're supposed to, listen to the video and take separate notes from the supplement, you can pause it, right? Get your, get your act together, take separate notes keep them separate. That's what you should be doing. If you haven't done that, good news, you can go back and listen to all these over again. And who wouldn't want to do that? I mean, honestly, if you're given the choice or the chance to listen to those lectures again, who wouldn't want to do that? Interesting, riveting. Anyway, um, any questions, comments, uh, let me know. Uh, and I hope you and your family are well in our, in our crisis and that everything's going okay for you. Thanks, guys. Take care.